Old Man at the Bridge by Ernest Hemingway An old man with steel-rimmed spectacles and very dusty clothes sat by the side of the road. There was a pontoon bridge across the river and carts, trucks and men, women and children were crossing it. The mule-drawn carts staggered up the steep bank from the bridge with soldiers helping push against the spokes of the wheels. The trucks ground up and away heading out of it all and the peasants plodding along in ankle-deep dust. But the old man sat there without moving. He was too tired to go any further. It was my business to cross the bridge, explore the bridgehead beyond and find out to what point the enemy had advanced. I did this and returned over the bridge. There were not so many carts now and very few people on foot. But the old man was still there. Where do you come from? I asked. From San Carlos. He said and smiled. That was his native town and so it gave him pleasure to mention it and he smiled. I was taking care of animals. He explained. Oh, I said, not quite understanding. Yes, he said. I stayed, you see, taking care of animals. I was the last one to leave the town of San Carlos. He did not look like a shepherd or a herdsman and I looked at his black dusty clothes and his grey dusty face and his steel rimmed spectacles and said, What animals were they? (laughs) Various animals, he said and shook his head. I had to leave them. I was watching the bridge and the African looking country of Ebro Delta and wondering how long now it would be before we would see the enemy and listening all the while for the first noises that would signal that ever mysterious event called contact and the old man still sat there. What animals were they? I asked. There were three animals all together, he explained. There were two goats and a cat. And then there were four pairs of pigeons. And you had to leave them, I asked. Yes, because of the artillery The captain told me to go because of the artillery. And you have no family? I asked, watching the far end of the bridge where the last few carts were hurrying down the slope of the bank. No, he said. Only the animals I stated. The cat? Of course, we'll be all right. The cat can look out for itself. But I cannot think what will become of the others. What politics have you? I asked. I am without politics, he said. (laughs) I am 76 years old. I have come. 12 kilometers now and I think now I can go no further. This is not a good place to stop, I said. If you can make it, there are trucks up the road where it forks for Tortosa. I will wait a while, he said, and then I will go. Where do the trucks go? Towards Barcelona, I told him. I know no one in that direction, he said. But 
थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू अगेन वेरी मच ही लुक डेट मी वेरी ब्लैंकली एंड टायर्डली देन सेड हैविंग टू शेयर हिज वरी विथ सम वन द कैट विल बी ऑल राइट आई एम श्योर there is no need to be unquiet about the cat but the others now what do you think about the others why they will probably come through it all right you think so why not i said watching the far bank where now there were no cats but what will they do under the artillery when i was told to leave because of the artillery did you leave the dove cage unlocked i asked yes then they will fly <laughs> yes certainly they will fly but the others it's better not to think about the others he said If you are rested I would go I urged get up and try to walk now <laughs> Thank you he said and got to his feet swayed from side to side and then sat down backwards in the dust I was taking care of the animals he said dully but no longer to me I was only taking care of animals There was nothing to do about him. It was Easter Sunday and the fascists were advancing towards the Ebro. It was a grey overcast day with a low ceiling so their planes were not up. That and the fact that cats know how to look after themselves was all the good luck that old man would ever have. So this was the story The Old Man at the Bridge by Ernest Hemingway Now a short note for the ICSE students who have this for their syllabus The background of this story is the Spanish Civil War around 1930s to be precise 1938 It has a countryside setting and so the civilians were asked to go away from their town as the fascists were advancing to their country this is an anti war short story telling us about the trauma of displacement effects of the war on common people this story has two opposite feelings depression and advancing death and the other side is humanity and compassion the two main characters the soldier the scout who is also the narrator and of course the victim the common man the civilian the old man just remember a few key words for your exam steel rimmed spectacles pontoon bridge sat there without moving mule drawn carts san carlos taking care of animals artillery this is not a good place to stop 76 years old 12 kilometers tortosa barcelona two goats a cat and four pairs of pigeons these animals they symbolize different people cats are the strong people who can save themselves the pigeons are independent people who can fly away and save themselves and the goats are the scapegoats the innocent civilians who become ultimately the victims of the war for other things you can contact your teacher all the best